morning guys. It's been raining constantly now for about six or seven hours. So I've got all the bits and pieces out, collecting as much water as I can. It's a gloomy one, but we've had it good. So long awaited really, this bit of rain. So I'm packing my rucksack up and I'm going to go on, on for a walk and take my Kelly kettle with me and have a nice brew. I think Mrs B is going to come up, so we're going to have a little picnic to see our waterproofs out. But contrast. I think this is uh, going to stay with us for about three or four days. At least I've uh, got a good couple of shelters to, to keep out the elements. Very, very nice. Quite relaxing in the rain. Oh, she's got a nice hot coffee. It's salted. Now this then, boy. Huh? <laughs> We had a lovely walk, that was lovely and me and uh, Mrs Bushwhack had a nice nice coffee and she brought me up some sandwiches so that was nice, so we was out for about three hours and uh, it's great with the old waterproofs, I'm just keeping them on now just drying this one out, the old body heat's drying it through. No, it's, a, it's definitely a damp one. I was in two minds whether to spark the wood burner up, put some heat through here, but I might let it drop a bit. It's still quite mild. So, lovely day at the camp. Well, part, part day at the camp. And part day on a nice walk. But it's lovely walking in the rain. It's just so, so refreshing. And it's awkward to to know what to wear because you, you're at camp and you, you put too many layers on underneath and then you go for a walk and you start perspiring so you're wetter inside than you are out so it's getting that, that layering system correct for when you're walking a great opportunity to Finished my UBO. I had to stave for quite a while now and never got round to it. So, with weather like this, it's perfect. So, I'm just using a cabinet scraper just to round all the, all the sharp edges off. And then I'll uh, put my bit of paracord on tomorrow and test the bend on it. I've been meaning to do this for a while. But it's 
get in there. It's, uh, it's a lot more powerful than my other one that I made. And I cleaned that one up earlier as well. Just give it a bit of a a bit of a polish. So just rounding everything off, and then I'll sand it down. It should be done, I think. But it's uh it's a strong boat. Very strong. So I'll be able to go in that on that in the future. So the sun's going down. Just another day at the camp. Finito. So I'll be on this for a, a little bit longer, another 20 minutes or so, and then start to uh, start chilling out. Might have a read. And that'll be me done. But there's definitely something nice about making your own bow. It's great if you've never had a go. Just have a go at it and uh, see how you get on. Even if you get one or two arrows out of it, it's uh, still an achievement. And you're still crafting something with your, with your own hands from nature. It's a great, great achievement. But I'm surprised how long my other one that was my first bow I ever made that you've seen me using on, on me archery. It's the first bow I ever made, that's got to be three years old and it's, it's still going going really strong. So I'm well chuffed with that. So hopefully I'll, I'll get the same time out of this. It's got a few knots in it though. So, you know, that's quite a weak spot there. But we'll see how see how it goes. Buster's had a lovely day. And he's flat out. He was steaming earlier, the heat was coming off him. He was soaked and then come back. And you can see the steam coming off his body. So <laughs> he's drying out nicely. I'll air his bed again tomorrow, if it's nice. Freshen it up a bit. So second night and I think it's raining harder than it did the first night. So it's certainly flooded out there. That is some serious rain. About half past two now. I'm just chilling out listening to that.
So that rain's finally stopped. That's two days of constant rain. It's lovely to get back outside. And I've lit the, uh, the stone fire pit, let that dry out a bit. Get some heat in the place. But it's definitely damp one now. Oh. Great having some dry timber. So that's sparked up lovely. Bit of birch bark on there and away she goes. That wood burner was on for about an hour and a half, two hours. You can see how it's dried part of the Arctic tent out. But that canvas is soaked. So the beauty of a wood burner, draw your tent out in, in these kind of conditions. But that certainly took a hammering over the last two days. So I know it can stand up to a, to a heavy rainfall. So what an interesting couple of days with that rain. Managed to get out yesterday as you see. And, uh, had, a, had a bit of a picnic. But last night was hunker down in there. And today's been pretty much the same. Been doing bits and pieces in there. Just trying to keep the damp off. It's not cold, it's just... It's just damp really. But start drying the place out and I think the sun's going to push through. Unbelievable when you've had it so dark and dreary with the rain and then really appreciate the sun. It's like being reborn. That's only two days of rain where some people get, you know, weeks of the stuff. But I've never known it to to rain so hard and so constant for so long. But everything's had a great watering. If that sun pushes through, it's going to be a great evening. I might even sit up in the hide. My uh, last cup of coffee. You can hear the birds singing now. They're appreciative of the the dry weather after they've been hunkered down we've all done pretty much the same in the woodland we've all kind of hunkered down for a couple of days i love looking at the camp as well when it's been raining the wood's got a lovely like a bronze effect My water butts were almost empty. That's a great, uh, great deluge of water. The hammock's taken uh, a bit of a soaking. I'll flip that over, let that dry out. So I'm absolutely starving. I'm gonna have a nice bacon and egg sandwich, I think.
Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Something good about being this hungry. Oh, it's falling apart. Oh. eggs, bacon. Oh, I do appreciate your food. It's the first real thing I've eaten today as well. Yeah boy, come here. That is man's tucker. Do you reckon? That's love when you can share your bacon sandwich with your dog. So I just had that amazing sandwich. That went down well, me and Buster enjoyed that. I'll give him another slice with his with his uh, biscuit and I'm going to spark the pizza oven up now. I'm going to use some of the coals from the fire and uh, give this its first burn. I managed to get a lot of the logs out inside. Scraped a lot of the soil out that I had in there. Compacted soil. So I'm going to spark it up now and see how she performs. Dry it out a bit more. It's been so wet so get a bit of heat inside. So here goes. Quite excited about this. This will be our first fire. I'll let that spark up and then I'll push it more towards the back. Hopefully that's one of many. That's building up a nice bit of heat in there now. I've just got to make a door for it. And then uh, nice pizza to go in, I think. But it's still a, a little bit wet from all that rain. But it's nice and solid. Let's see how she performs on her first burn. If she cracks a little bit, I can always patch her up. I'll let that burn away a bit and then I'll put a few more logs in and give it a good uh, good couple of hours burn I think it's going to be lovely in the winter the heat that's coming out of that hole is lovely so well chuffed with that always wanted a little pizza oven or bread oven that's turned out really well Rain's holding off. So I'm starting the door. I've marked out a rough template 
with the door shape and transferred it onto this nice bit of oak. So shaping it up now.